Hi, everyone. My name is Erwin Ganshandani, and I serve as the Assistant Director for Technology, Innovation, and Partnerships at the National Science Foundation. On behalf of our director, Dr. Setha Raman Panchanathan, and the rest of the NSF team, it is my pleasure to be with you today virtually and to share a few words about the significance of your work, of the Midwest Big Data Hub's Community Development and Engagement event, and the significance of that work on our work at NSF. I'm sorry I cannot be there in person, but I appreciate your flexibility in allowing me to provide these taped remarks. As you'll hear me describe in just a moment, I am excited about the work that you all are undertaking, and I am thrilled to be able to join you, even if it's in this form. Now, let me begin by acknowledging that I have the good fortune of knowing a little something about your work at the Midwest Big Data Hub. Prior to my current role, I served as the deputy for NSF's Computer and Information Science and Engineering Directorate, or SIZE. In that capacity, I worked with colleagues across SIZE and across the foundation to envision and enable the establishment of the Big Data Regional Innovation Hubs program and the evolution of these hubs over time. And I have watched with great pride over the last few years as you all and your colleagues across the network of hubs have become really truly regional resources for big data innovation all across this nation. So congratulations to you all on the outstanding work that you have been leading. Now the manner in which you have been able to bring together different disciplines and sectors to spotlight the pressing local and regional challenges and opportunities that you face and to surface data science approaches to design, test, and validate, including through piloting and prototyping data-driven solutions. All of that is actually the bedrock of how we are thinking about NSF's newest directorate as well. As a matter of fact, when the Chips and Science Act was signed into law last August, authorizing the new Directorate for Technology, Innovation, and Partnerships, or TIP, one of the things that we stressed was that TIP was grounded in a strong foundation of investments by NSF dating back many decades. And certainly in our view, the big data hubs are a key example of that. As a matter of fact, this workshop today, part of the Midwest Big Data Hubs collaboration and engagement program as a whole, really exemplifies what we mean by that. It's so great to know that you have a diverse set of collaborators coming together. The Tribal Nations Research Group, the University of North Dakota, North Dakota State University, Grand Farm, and Microsoft, all with the shared goal of open communication with tribal governments, tribal colleges and universities, and others to enable tribal participation in the Midwest Big Data Hub's digital agriculture community. This is exactly the type of engagement that we hope to strengthen and scale through TIP as well. So what is this new TIP directorate? Well, this directorate is NSF's first in more than 30 years, and it builds upon the agency's nearly 75 year history of serving as a beacon of US innovation. We think of TIP as a strategic mindset that supercharges research outcomes and speeds the cycle of discovery and innovation. TIP allows research to more quickly become useful to people and the planet. We accelerate breakthrough technologies that address our important national, societal, and geostrategic challenges, while at the same time getting every American, regardless of background or location, involved and trained in these critical areas. Now, the TIP Directorate is home to use-inspired research programs such as the Convergence Accelerator, as well as translational research programs like our Lab to Market platform, which comprises the i program and the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR program, to name a few. We are also home to experiential educational offerings, like the newly announced NSF Entrepreneurial Fellowships. But you invited me here today to talk about one of our newest programs, the NSF Regional Innovation Engines, or as we call it, the NSF Engines program. We view the NSF Engines program as transformational for the nation. It will catalyze robust partnerships that accelerate advances in key technology areas. It will address societal challenges and opportunities. It will positively impact the economy and job growth within a geographic region. And it will advance U.S. competitiveness broadly. 
The NSF engines that we fund will harness the nation's full geography and demography to create opportunities everywhere and cultivate innovation anywhere, as our director likes to say. Now, let me take this opportunity to congratulate those of you who represent the Northern Front Autonomous Systems Engine, or Enphase. We have been delighted to name you as one of our 44 Engine Development Awards. And your award, led by the University of North Dakota, spans an impressive coalition of 14 partners from across the Midwest, including academia, industry, and local, tribal, and state governmental organizations as well. I also want to congratulate the representatives of the Northern Plains Ag Tech Engine for Food Systems Adapted for Resiliency and Maximized Security, or FARMS. I love these acronyms, by the way, as you are one of the 16 finalists of the NSF Engines competition. Our collective hope is that through Enphase and FARMS, you will seed the partnerships and framework necessary to ultimately catalyze a virtuous and self-sustaining cycle of innovation and growth for your state, in this case, around sustainable agriculture. This workshop is not only illustrative of your NSF engine concepts, but it also exemplifies exactly what we hope to do with the NSF engines program and with TIP more generally. This is where research, innovation, entrepreneurship, and education collide. It's where we showcase and lift up cutting edge breakthroughs, transformational solutions, and diverse talent as well. Again, congratulations to both Enphase for the NSF Engines Development Award and to Farms as a finalist for the NSF Engines competition. And congratulations on your Midwest Big Data Hub as well. It's exciting to see just how much that effort has progressed. I wish you a successful event today and I, along with my NSF colleagues, look forward to hearing all about your discussions, your next steps, and your successes over the longer term too. Let me leave you with just one call to action here. The success of the Chips and Science Act that I mentioned at the outset is dependent on all of us working together. So I challenge you all to dream big and bold for the future of your region and this nation, and to be sure to take advantage of the full breadth of interconnected programs that TIP is beginning to offer. By working together, we can create opportunities for everyone everywhere, and we can ensure that the U.S. remains in the vanguard of competitiveness for decades to come. Thank you.